and gentlemen, hello and welcome along to another instalment of our tyre testing series supported by Continental. In this episode, we carry on from where we left off in episode 5 when we were out ploughing. I thought while we've still got the plough on, now would be a great opportunity to take a closer look at the likes of wheel slip and tread pattern. If you've not seen our main intro piece, uh, which explains pretty much what we are doing in this little series of uh, tyre tests. Go check that one out. But essentially what we are trying to do really is just learn all about and find out all about the capabilities of this latest VF uh, tyre technology. Not least just the tyres, but we've also got some very clever tyre sensing technology inside each tyre, which relays it's data back to the continental screen in the cab which tells me precisely what pressures are in each uh, in each tire to within half a psi uh, and I, it also tells me the tire temperature uh, on that screen as well so i can really keep an eye on and monitor what's going on in my tires so for this tire testing series what we want to do to find out more about this uh, this latest uh, vf tire technologies try them out doing lots of different jobs lots of different applications so we'll be doing some throughout the series we've done some uh, grassland applications we've done some transport applications and we're going to do some tillage applications as ever massive thank you to clark and pullman our local machinery dealer for sorting us out with this uh, fent 828 vario tractor which is Fitted with the manufacturer's uh, Vario Grip Central Tire Inflation System, which has been key to all our tire tests in this series because it allows me to basically just get the best out of the tires and uh, experiment a little bit as well because it allows me to increase or decrease the tire pressures depending on what job we are actually doing. So it's been fascinating to find out so far more about these tyres and the technology and the sensing technology. Also, a huge thank you to Clark and Pullman's sister company, uh, Garstang Tire Services, for actually fitting these tyres to this tractor because it was a hell of a hot day when they did it and they, well, fair to say, they were sweating a bit. So massive thank you to those guys for sorting out uh, this tractor with those tyres. So on with this test then and I thought do you know what there's probably a couple of other things that I can show you about these tyres while we are ploughing. So right sun's out now which is good good stuff it's still very very sticky and tacky on top but I thought let's just show you a couple of other things. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is is Basically, let's see what happens if you just rock up to the field with your plough still with the road pressures in the tyres. So in this case, we've got 1.8 bar in the rear and 1.4 bar at the front. So that 1.8 bar in old money is about 26, 27 PSI around there. So... Let's just see what happens, shall we? Let's see what happens to the difference in, particularly in wheel slip, and will the fuel go up as well? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what happens. Right, so we are up and running with the road pressures whilst ploughing. Let's see if that's actually had much of a difference or impact. I say surprisingly, it's not much too different, but although it is sticky on top, underneath that shallow, sticky surface, it's actually quite quite firm underneath uh, the footprint's still pretty decent you can just see it's the cleats are just being a little bit more aggressive because the tire is harder so it's just digging a little bit just scratching a little bit more but yeah not much more and i suppose that is the advantage of this vf tire technology it's still even at your road pressures it's still got that flex in there enough flex to create a decent footprint i think we've still pretty much got three cleats on the ground at least and it's still doing the business. Granted, we're on a nice flat surface. The sun is burning off this uh, the moisture on the surface as well. So that is all helping. But in terms of wheel slip, if we just go up to kind of our ploughing speed yesterday of about 8k, 
Yeah, it's just a little bit higher. It does flick around a bit, but we are peaking out at about, yeah, 12%. So just that little bit extra wheel slip, not much more. Uh, what else can we see? Oh, now fuel use, that one's interesting. That one's fairly jumped. So it must be just taking out a little bit more effort. So yeah, we're more around about the 30 litres an hour, somewhere around there as a spot rate. Whereas we're more like 20 an hour yesterday. But I would say this field is a little bit stiffer in terms of the soil. So it's all a bit relative. There's quite a lot of variables, as you guys know. But interesting. Yeah, there you go. So with the road pressures, 1.8 bar in the rear, a little bit extra oil slip, not much more, which I can only conclude is, you know, this modern VF tyre technology, you know, the engineering that's gone into the tyres, it's just producing still a really good amount of flex which means you still get a very good footprint even at these slightly higher pressures 26 pounds something like that as opposed to 17 pound yesterday so we're almost 10 pound extra but it's still damn near doing the business probably if we're on some of the slopes like we were yesterday and it was a little bit wetter the differences might be a little bit more noticeable but like i say because of this you know this vf tire technology it's still actually, you know, performing pretty darn well. Right, boys and girls. So I thought the second thing we could do and uh, try and illustrate to you and try and show you while I've got the plough on is the differences in tread pattern, essentially. So having a look at uh, the rut depth, the rut width, under different pressurized conditions in those tires. So what we've done is uh, I've made three runs over this, uh, this Power Harrod ground that the Power Harrod boys uh, are currently doing over there somewhere. And I've done it obviously with the plow up in the air just to try and have a look at like I say, see the differences in footprint because those back tires have got a hell of a lot of work to do and a hell of a lot of load to carry, particularly at the headlands. So we've done run number one over here. This was done at, uh, at road pressures. So 1.8 bar in the back tires of here. And then we've done run number two over here. Pretty much the pressures that I've been running at for most of this plowing session, which is uh, 1.2 bar in the rear tires and then if you cast your mind back to earlier on in the video i did try one bar which is what this run is so let's have a look at the differences in the rut depth and the rut width and actually i mean before i've even got the tape measure out 